Now that we've taken a trip around the world, let's check in on the update right here at home in Arizona. A lot is happening right here in our home state of Arizona, folks. So thank you for tuning in here on The Update, where we like to keep you in the know on what's happening right around you. Now, for most student viewers, you might be watching this in an Arizona classroom, maybe a college campus, or perhaps a multi-purpose room. To the rest of you folks, I'm sure you're probably catching us live or on demand on HYFN TV on the Roku, or catch us on your phones at HYFNTV.com. No matter the way you consume your news, on the update right here, it is our mission to break down the news in Arizona in the most relevant and meaningful way for our viewers. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now last school year, those here on the update covered the continued Arizona water crisis, the homelessness crisis, and all of the elected offices that are up for election this year, as the primary was underway. We also brought to our viewers consistent and relevant updates about the border crisis, fentanyl, and economic and energy issues all across Arizona. All of these major issues of importance to Arizonans were top of mind as we ended last school year. Well, class of 22-23, as summer came to a close, the August 2nd primaries came and went, and the voters of the political parties right here in Arizona have picked their prospective candidates. And the November 8th general election is well underway, and we are excited to catch our viewers and our first time voters up on what's been happening and kick off the news for this new school year. Today, right here on The Update, we're gonna catch you up on where the general election races stand right here in Arizona. We're going to tap into our outgoing governor's wall building plan and this state's program at our southern border. And we don't want to forget about one of the most serious Arizona issues. That's water. We're going to dive into exactly where we are on this water crisis as a state as we have been battling this issue all year. Nothing new for Arizonans right out here in the desert, folks. But first, before we get started, some breaking news. The campaign manager for Katie Hobbs is attempting to explain away why their campaign is refusing to debate their Republican opponent as last Friday at 5 p.m. was the deadline to commit. Hobbs manager continues pointing to a raucous debate between the four Republicans vying for their party's nomination in the August 2nd primary for her decision to not participate. Katie Hobbs' campaign sent out a letter to the Citizens Clean Elections Commission stating, quote, Secretary Hobbs firmly believes that Arizonans deserve every opportunity to evaluate candidates for public office and hear their visions for the future of our state. Without constant interruptions, pointless distractions, childish name calling, tired conspiracy theories, and demonstrably false accusations. End quote. Carrie Lake, the Republican candidate, had already agreed to the debate and its format, which has been used for years. She also said she was ready to hit the stage with Hobbs at any time, let her pick the moderator, and write all the questions. 
Carrie Lake had some pretty tough words for her opponent, as she got word that Hobbs was refusing to debate. Lake was quoted stating that she would happily follow any set of rules if Hobbs would just show up. <laughs> On a podcast interview Friday, Lake was quoted saying, so far she has not agreed to that. She's a coward. Hobbs' campaign has been talking with the Citizens Clean Elections Commission and Arizona PBS for weeks to try to agree on terms for the scheduled October 12th debate. The debates are televised and streamed live across the state on Arizona PBS and uh, numerous television stations, such as ours, also plan to broadcast. DeMont, Hobbs campaign manager, proposed separate interviews with Simons. She said the Arizona GOP debate led to weeks of ridicule for Arizona and that, quote, as a candidate and as governor, Secretary Hobbs will never participate in something that will make Arizona the butt of late night TV jokes and national ridicule. Russ Trumbull, Lake spokesman, said, individual interviews are not a debate. His direct quote was, this is not good for the voters, and that they deserve much more than just the two candidates sitting in separate rooms. We will see in November if this was indeed foolish or brilliant political calculation on Katie Hobbs' part. As far as us here on the update, well, we have an open invite to both candidates to come speak with our viewers. Come on down, give them your pitch, a lot to catch up on. The update is yours, next generation news leader. And there is a lot of news to go over, folks. More when we come back, don't go away. <laughs>